That's all right. <laughs> oh. Sideways, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, si no, sideways is good. Yeah, sideways is actually so better. Let's see some of these things here. Yeah, so take a look. This is kind of what we're going to be. We should just get started. Uh, so, hi. We're gonna have to Welcome to the stream. My name is Mark. Nathaniel. I'm Clint. And uh, since this is a gaming channel, we'll be having my younger brother screaming at Call of Duty in the background the entire time. So that'll be fun. perfect. Uh, be loud. Today we're going to be unboxing the Marvel Legends Thanos. Uh, what is it? It's a premi premium figure mm -hmm. uh, from Hasbro. Uh, when was this released? Just left a couple months ago, right? Uh, this just hit the shelves this week. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. This just came out a few days ago. All right. Um, so what do we got here? All three of these then? Is this, a, is this Thanos? No. Thanos this is Apocalypse. Thanos. This is Apocalypse. All right. And that is Nimrod. Uh, this is the uh, the Terminator essential of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, he's like okay. he's he like time a travels. god tier robot time traveler. Pretty much impossible to beat. This is the first mutant. He's just a major badass. Like his name is Apocalypse. Hi, George. Come here. Come here, George. People love puppies. Oh, uh, hi, hi, buddy. Hi, George. Uh, so what do you guys got in common? Why are they, they uh, are they're all, all premium figures okay, all premium from the Marvel figures. Legends line. Um, so okay. we just wanted to be able to compare. We just did the video, the unboxing of this one the other day. Okay. Um, we made the video of that, of course. So we're just here to uh, repeat the process. With the, uh, the head does come off and it becomes the other head. We did that in the uh, video as well. All right. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get started with. So this the is Thanos. Unboxing. Yeah, from so the Marvel Infinity. Gauntlet, Mar yes. What's the series? What so series this, is this is the uh, the Toy Biz series. Uh, was discontinued, and Hasbro took over the Marvel Legends. I should have um, dressed up as Death for this. I didn't know she was like so, on, right on the back. Yeah, uh. Death is on the back. It's great. We want Death on the back. That's fun stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop it open real quick and get a look at it. Maybe. I can just pause and cut through this part. No, this is live. Oh, oh yeah. live. Yeah, it's yeah. live. <laughs> yeah, live. Do you have any... Cool. So, uh, it's fun. It always comes with these these cool backdrops. You know, you get like the throne yeah, on there. Nice That's to stand fun. on. If, you, yeah, if you're nice. into that. Yeah, if you're into that, right. Which, you know, we so like to play a little more than that. They do some good ones. Uh, this out here. And then we have the figure in the package. He comes with the additional hands. And it's cool, you get the snap hand. Uh, where he's actually in the snap motion with the gauntlet on. Uh, the open gauntlet, so then you get the additional fist. Uh, I've already swapped them out, so he is actually displayed with the uh, the proper hand, and we're just going to pop him out of here. Is this the way Thanos always looks? Yeah, this, is his co this is a comic book accurate representation of him. This uh, is the most, uh, we were just talking about, this is the best Thanos that there is. It's, it's... Uh, this is the... This Absolutely. actually, it, I was saying that I think this actually makes him look better and actually more intimidating than he actually looks in the comics because he's kind of, you know, usually he's just rendered in straight yellow and blue and it's like a bright blue, almost kind of purplish like his face and his face is bright purple and I'm like, nothing about that to me says scary. It's more about his like nihilistic tendencies that really make him intimidating as opposed to his visage so you can just feel how absolutely like He's durable beast, right? yeah right like, like you it's could let your dog play with this practice. right He's exactly a serious toy so that's kind of the idea of why we displayed these other two as well is because they're from the same line where they are that they're that super durable really high quality it's what they call premium figures now um and these the price range on these is if you can get them off the shelf first market 29.99 a figure so they're 30 they're 30 dollar figures mm -hmm. uh for a single figure but there's nothing that even comes close to comparing to their quality as far as for you know any toy line almost but exclusively they do the marvel toys so if you if you want the the best apocalypse or thanos or nimrod you're only getting them in this form okay so uh yeah these are uh, about as high quality as it gets for toys um, and of course, if you're a Marvel fan, they're as good as it gets. And they do all the Marvel figures in this. Uh, uh, this series. scale, um, they scale. so yeah, they've done just about everything at this point. They've been they've been going pretty hard. Uh, I was actually showing Mark some of the the waves, what they call waves, when they drop the the figures. Um, so 
on a lot of cases, the premium figures have been only build a figures. So you get one piece right, so I've seen of that. each one in right. the box, okay. um, and then you put it together and you get a premium figure. Mm -hmm. Well, now they're selling single premium figures for a thirty-dollar price point, um, which is, is a steal as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But they do have Modoc now, so they have a premium figure coming out that's fifty dollars. Um, and it's, I give it's absolutely no shits about. I know, and it's Modoc, though. and 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 I have the original '90s Toy Biz version of the Modoc figure, and it's perfect. I mean, it's literally, you know, the, the sculpt on it, the paint, it's very, very high quality. So they basically just oh, kind of made it bigger and then charged a lot of money for it. Yeah, so, sad. Well, if you figure, you know, what are you paying for a 18 and 8? These uh, are about 15 to $20 for, oh, wait, what? No, these so are for like, Yeah, so for a, uh, oh, well, you for know. A, for a standard Marvel Legends figure. It's, they're about fifteen to twenty bucks, right? Oh, they're nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. So you're not paying too much more for what you're. No, yeah, you're paying ten dollars more, and you're getting and you're three getting, times the figure. You're getting quite a bit more, yeah. Um, and so. the, that's the thing is that so these figures, the reason why this line is so important to me is because you get the, them in their actual scale compared to the other figures. So the other it's, figures only come up to where they're supposed oh, to I can, because I'm these go villains. Grab, um, like well, I got that Wolverine. Or yeah, yeah, Wolverine's a good option. Um, and then you get oh yeah, you like that. So is this his granddad or something? Um, is that him so, with a beard? Uh, to be fair, uh, we'd actually have to look up. There's a continuity uh, that oh. this is. So let's see exactly what it's called. Um, yeah, so this version of uh, Thanos, is he from a segment of the comic story, of his own story? Like, is this... Uh, Does he well, show up in other incarnations? That yeah, different? of course. He did the uh, the cinematic universe. They just finished the uh, the Infinity War. Right, I saw that part of that. Did you see where he snapped and mm -hmm. all that Everybody stuff? It was, died. Wasn't it great? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was the it was probably about it was about the best thing I think as far as cinematic uh, Marvel stuff we've ever seen. Considering the figure, I figured Tony would be more appropriate. Oh, okay. Tony's Tony's appropriate. So just to give you an idea of the so scale. These guys are both they're, the they're same. in the same uh, series. Right, where the five or six inch part. figures are going to sit where they should right. because of how tall these figures are actually supposed to be. Right. Like, because in reality, you know, back in the day you got Gary. the wave of figures and every oh, single one was the same size. size. Yeah. So now you get the, the deviation in, in height. Uh, so it actually makes for not just better playability. Better everything. It's just, yeah. it's just like it's across the board. Um, but then you're getting the super high quality stuff. And this, of course, is uh, this is the one we just unboxed. It's my favorite figure. But you can see he was supposed to be massive. And then, you know, you only got the, the five-inch figure. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's twice as tall as his original counterpart of an action figure. So... Uh, we were looking up, do you know offhand what this head represents? I think that's, uh, I don't know, look, there's a, there's like an here. alternate timeline where he totally won and like lived a million years. And then, oh really? Yeah, where he, just, he just, he killed everyone. King Thanos. King Thanos, <laughs> basically, yeah. It's the alternate world where he wins and doesn't yeah. get defeated. And that's the thing about comics is you always... There's a universe for every option. You don't want to go out like that. Let's do the mega happy ending. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, so Nate, you're a big collector. What do you think the retention value on? I mean, I'm surprised you even open it because you're not a big on opening fucking things, but... Uh, well, no, this is the like the playable stuff. Like I was showing him earlier, the, the stuff that I kept boxed has been all those Comic-Con exclusives. Okay. Um, uh, and also, not, not just those, but the original Toy Biz line. Just because of the packages they were packaged in. Which is what you know turned me on to collecting them in the first place. Yeah, because the they're packaging. they're the first of basically the first of their kind in that like this this scale and this level of posability. In fact, back then they kind of like overdid it on the posability. They, they yeah, went out of business, that, right? Which yeah, is why those like, are actually kind of better in package. Like, okay, so here's the thing: the package came completely sealed in plastic, right? And inside was a comic book and a card and sometimes other things you got, plus the figure and a bunch of accessories to it. And the the, the figure would have. 30 to 50 points of articulation. Yeah, that's what I remember. And the quality, and like, it's just incredible um, uh, amount of quality. But, so when, uh, we were talking about this earlier, unfortunately when Toy Biz went out of business because they were overdoing it, as you'd like to yeah. say, for the quality of their figures. Even away the product, sounds like. Uh, yeah. They were, they were costly. were they paying for those? I, I believe at the store when I was buying them, they were seven ninety nine. What, $7.99? Yeah, well, this, like, this was like 20 years ago, basically. Right, this was but 20 still, years ago. they were giving it away. It was, uh, it, they, they were giving it, it away. It was, it was they $7. They were like G.I. Joe prices, which is like yeah. what got me into them. I was like, 
Um, but you were literally get getting this quality. And those figures. just go up and up in value. So these yes, guys right. are much more for like opening and playing with. They're not necessarily sold as Well, the thing pieces. is, is what's interesting to me is that I'm finding out that whether or not these guys are open, if you just have the original package, that's then good enough. it's good enough. Oh, yeah. And if you can put it back in the package, that's fine. But even at that point, the packages are not worth keeping to me, is, you know, because once you have o opened them, you know, I don't see the, the price difference. But it's strange how much it do, ha it changes it. if you just keep the original package. I used to keep you all put the it back. packages but, in boxes and eventually I had to throw them away. And, and that's why, yes. Because I was like, well, in case I ever sell them. But yeah. they got waterlogged or something. You had to toss them. You know, you're 20 years old. Oh, yeah, the snap. You had to change it. So, oh, yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. So it's got the full continuity. So then, so where did you where do you pick these up? You have to get them online. Uh, no, these are like at Target and Walmart, um, things like that. Uh, yeah, they're they're on the shelves. They're very common. Oh, uh, GameStop as well. Yeah. And I mean, you if you anywhere you can buy a competitive. Toys. But it, the day it, the day it hits the shelf yeah, is when it's there. Up. Yeah, they're there because the, the price point is higher second market the day they're released. So if you and don't you got, pre order you get them, a lot of scalpers too who will just. Go That's what I'm saying. They'll buy the whole thing. thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah, with assholes. like that new Spider Verse. You assholes. Spider Verse set. I'm talking to you. Yeah. So, uh, and that's interesting. You know, I always just leave the extra ones there. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh no! How dare you? Uh, so it's uh. Who's are you, who's sculpting these? Where do these sculpts come from? Uh, Hasbro. It's like the same teams that do most of the Star Wars figures, okay. the Black Series, and uh, not Transformers. They're a different team. Uh, what's the other one? What's the other license that Hasbro has? Is it is it WWF? The wrestling that figures? Might be. I don't know. I don't fucking buy any of those. Uh, <laughs> right. Neither do I. I just want they could be. No, they got another big ticket. A uh, license that isn't Transformers. It's not like Jurassic Park or something. No, that's uh, actually Lanard, I think. Um, they're doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing great. And those, I mean, I'm not into the so Jurassic Park's done the same thing. I don't know if you've seen it. They have thirty dollar dinosaurs that are just this big, like this scale. Like they're just there's a dinosaur. There's dinosaurs that are, are this tall and, and on the shelf. Thing? Yeah, on the shelf they're thirty bucks. It's crazy. And I'm just like, I would never, ever pay that much. I, but there's people that are like, it's the day they hit the shelf, they're gone. So it's crazy. He's got their thing. Yeah. Well, so this is Thanos. Um, Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. Seems like everybody's pretty happy with it. I think as a toy guy, I'm happy just because it's got good posability, especially for a big guy and yeah. the durability. Uh, yeah, it'll last forever. Yeah. Like, like you can throw it outside, the dog forever. can tear it up. It's yeah. Gonna, it's fun to play with. It's fun to pose. It's fun to have on a shelf. It's got interchangeable pieces, so it, it's like a fun toy to me. So I give it an A. An a. As far as being cool. Yes. Yes. Now, Indeed. I really like it. I love the colors. Uh, I think the the plastic they used for the to mold all the gold stuff like really gives it some pop and uh, like it's really clean. The face the face work. He looks absolutely depraved so I love that and uh, yeah it's pretty sweet dogs are going nuts out there uh, alright well so go out and purchase yourself one yeah go get one before they're go, gone go dude buy one of these there was a there was a couple on the shelf at Target so go get them Are you having fun with Gary? Are you having fun with Gary? Is he showing you the yard? Yeah. Gary's. It's a great thing. figure. It's a great price. Uh, I, I highly recommend I would buy it, but I don't really feel like the Thanos that much. So. <laughs> uh, you got to complete that collection, though. As a completionist, I. This is the I best. I got to get the, the three inch, maybe, I would get, but. Right. That's my. I'm not like overly invested in legends, so. I am. <laughs> overly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I said, that original packaging, you can't beat it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. All right. Uh, I'm gonna zoom back out. Gary, stop.
so not. <laughs> We're doing it live. Fuck it. Uh, These dogs, though, man. Jared. I cannot breathe. <laughs> I literally can't breathe. I, I, have, to, I have to get out of here. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>